All right, calculate the percent error if the mass of gold in an earring is analyzed to be 0 0.837 grams, but the true value is 0 0.864 grams. So we have a percent error problem, and we're given two bits of information. We have this 0 0.837 grams, so that 0 0.837 grams is our experimental value. So I'm gonna abbreviate that as EXP. That's what we determined in lab, or we analyzed and got that number in real life. And then we were also given this 0 0.864 grams, and that 0 0.864 grams is our true value, as the problem says, or the actual amount of gold that the earring contains. So I like to call that the accepted value. So we're gonna abbreviate that as ACC. Could also be called the theoretical or the actual. There's a couple different names that all mean the same thing. So those are the two values we need to solve this problem. We also need our formula, which is up here. So percent error is equal to, in absolute value bars, the experimental minus accepted value over the accepted value, also in absolute value bars. And those absolute value bars just mean you need to take the positive if you end up with a negative answer. And then all of that times 100% because we want to turn it into a percentage. All right, so let's plug in our information. So for percent, error that is equal to we have our fraction and on top of the fraction is in absolute value the experimental minus the accepted so our experimental value is 0 0.837 grams minus our accepted is 0 0.864 grams and then that's an absolute value bar so we'll put that there and then on bottom is the accepted value again by itself in absolute value. So a line and then 0 0.864 grams and then another line there for absolute value. All of that times 100 and then add that percent sign. So let's simplify this fraction a little bit. So let's get our calculator and let's solve the top. So if you have a smart calculator like me, um, there's generally a button to push to give you absolute value bars. So on this TI-84, if you hit the math button, you can actually go one to the right to the number section, and number one is ABS, open parentheses. That stands for absolute value. So if we hit enter there, we can see our absolute value bars, and we can now input what's in the top of our fraction, so zero, 0.837 minus 0.864. Hit enter and we get positive 0.027. Now that would have been a negative number, but because it was an absolute value, our calculator is saying that it's positive. Now if you did that math by hand or you don't know where the absolute value button is on your calculator, just always remember to make the number positive if you end up with a negative value. All right, so for our problem, we have on top of our fraction 0 0.027 and our units were grams for both of those, so our units are still gonna be grams. All right, now the bottom of this fraction has absolute value 0 0.864 grams. That's already positive, so we can just rewrite it again as 0 0.864 grams without those absolute value bars because it's already positive. And we're gonna multiply that all by 100%. All right, now time to solve the final answer. Let's get our calculator and plug and chug 0 0.027 divided by 0 0.864 and then all multiplied by 100 hit enter and our calculator gives us 3.125 
let's round that to two significant figures so we would get 3.1. So equals 3.1. Now what are our units? Well, in the fraction we had grams over grams. So that unit will cancel out because it's on top and on bottom and we'll be left with just the percent sign, which makes sense because we're solving for percent error. So we want our final answer to be a percentage. All right, there you have it, calculate the percent error. If the mass of gold in an earring is analyzed to be 0.837 grams, but the true value is actually 0.864 grams, our percent error would be 3.1%. All right, if you wanna see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.